This morning I'm going to talk a little bit about nest box eye and checking for it. I don't believe that I have any nest box eye in here, but this is something that you just want to look for signs of right around the time that the rabbits start popping out of the nest box, which is usually 10 to 14 days. Um, these guys are about two and a half weeks old. I'm just going to give them one final check. Just And all we're doing is we're just looking... Basically, you're looking to make sure their eyes are both open and clear, um, not stuck together, not, you know, kind of if they had it, had it, it would appear like a crusty pink eye, which is essentially what it is. It's an eye infection. But what happens sometimes is that their eyes, before they open, they might get a piece of, say, like detritus, like like fine shavings or possibly hay or straw or something in there. Typically, I find if the mother makes a well-lined fur-lined nest, this isn't too much of a problem. If you're using a good quality kiln-dried shaving with a larger shaving, it's not a problem. The one time that I did have a single kit with nest box, I, I noticed that the bag of shavings that I had that week had a lot of fun, a lot more fines in it than it usually did. But more importantly, I think what really tipped the scales on that was that the mother didn't line the nest with a lot of fur. So, you know, that, that kept them in more contact and more exposure to, to the harder stuff that was in there. And, you know, their, their eyes are still shut. And then once, once they're shut, that's trapping any, you know, bacteria or anything behind there. So, you know, that's basically all it is. There are a few ways that you can treat it. A lot of people use colloidal silver. When I had it, I did, I happened to have some dried chamomile in my pantry, which is antibacterial on its own. So I did a warm water soak with, you know, just, just some ripped up t-shirts, soaked the eyes to help open them just gently get them open once you get them open they usually respond pretty quickly and it usually clears up pretty quickly i had that that single case that i had it, it was a little bit persistent and i also used a an over-the-counter triple antibiotic ointment which is okay to use you know like a neosporin as long as it doesn't have you need to check and make sure that it doesn't have like lidocaine or an anesthetic in it as well you just want it to be plain old triple antibiotic which in a lot of cases means that your your simple generic brand your store brand might be best um teramycin ointments other ointments that you can get from your vet are options too and you know i'll, I'll list some more options that people use there's a lot of different ways to do it uh, frankly a lot of people will use just a, a simple warm water compress just soaking it a couple of times a day to get that eye open and then let their eye take care of it and like i said once you do that generally will clear up pretty quickly on its own but you might need a little bit of that ointment or something to help it along so i mentioned you know getting something from a vet or whatever i i just want to go on the record in saying that Obviously, I'm not opposed to veterinary care when it's warranted, but I do try and do as much as I can on my own. A couple reasons. One reason being that it's just so expensive to use a vet that honestly, and and also that rabbits, not in the case of nest box eye, but more serious conditions, they hide their conditions for so long that the likelihood of you saving them from something at the point at which you would call a vet in is pretty low. So, and it's just not cost effective. You can replace an animal, you know, it sounds harsh, but it is a harsh reality of keeping livestock and meat animals. You can replace that, that rabbit probably three or four times over. And, you know, sometimes a mercy kill, a euthanization would, would be the, definitely the more cost effective and, and often the more humane way to go. But again, that's, that's not the case for nest box eye, but you know, it is something you want to respond to quickly. The sooner you get to it, the sooner you start treating it, the better. And so sometimes it's hard. You can't get into vets. You can't get a vet out to your place in enough time. Nest box eye is really something that, that wouldn't become a veterinary issue, except for the fact that in the U.S. here, and I don't know about other countries, but at least in the U.S., we can no longer get a lot of antibiotics 
over the counter like we used to be able to for livestock. I have my own opinion on that, but I don't necessarily think it's a good good thing. I get it. They don't want the things overused. But what it's done is it's it's restricted your access and the speed at which you can get to to something. So again, you know, there's some good simple home remedies and over the counter products you can use as sim something as simple as warm water and a little bit of triple antibiotic or colloidal silver, all of which you can buy either online or at a local pharmacy. And, and that's that. And then the other thing I'm going to do is today, this nest box is coming out. These are three weeks old. They've two and a half, three weeks old. They've got plenty of fur. They're happy. I'll put a little more hay in there because it is kind of chilly at night. We've got some warm temperatures coming back again. Um, but we do still have a lot of cold. So, you know, cleaning that nest box at like two weeks once they're two weeks I, I like to leave it at least two weeks because I feel like they need the fur and it's really hard to to just select out the fur at that point because it's all mixed in but then get that out of there make sure everybody's eyes are opened if they're not help them out with some compresses and and then go a little further if you need to and that's kind of nest box eye in a, in a nutshell and you know if you'll come over to meetrabbits.org we'll have an article to go with that that will give you some more information and some some other remedies that people use, whether I've used them or not, just because, you know, we don't all necessarily use to, need to use all of them. But if other people are using them and they've had good experiences, they'll be on the list, too. So I hope you'll join us over there. And thanks for watching.